What up, J motherfucking Savage? It's back on top of this. They ain't no stopping it. It's unstoppable. It's impossible. So even when I'm playing with my own dick, it's like I'm playing with my confidence. And I'm just trying to get my ego up. The fuck you mean you ain't gonna fuck? That you're on your period. Last time I checked, bitch, you had three holes, slut. Nah, I'm just fucking with you. <laughs> anyway. J Savage. In the motherfucking. What the fuck? Hit the John Cena on them hoes. Anyway. As you saw the title of the motherfucking video. Win the bulk. <laughs> so, um. I'm going to try to keep this video in layman's terms. I don't want to get too complicated with it, too in-depth with it. I can do another video on that at some other time. So just to keep it simple for you guys, when to start bulking and how to bulk. Should you go dirty? Should you do it clean? I mean, in all honesty, guys, it's a matter of preference. So I'm going to tell you like this. When you do cut, you cut up into where you feel comfortable, all right? You see all these fucking fitness ma magazines with all these fucking models and they're fucking shredded to the goddamn bone and shit. But I mean, it's, you don't necessarily always get like that unless you, you know, you get completely dry and sucked up, right? So if you're not aiming for that goal and you're just trying to achieve a, a physique that, that, you know, gets you by, makes you happy, makes you feel confident about yourself, makes them hoes, tend the heads. I mean, that's really your choice. I mean, nobody can make that choice for you. So whenever you get up into where you feel good enough that you say, you know what, I think I've achieved this goal, this physique that I wanted, I feel that it's 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 necessary to maintain that physique at least two to three months just to give your body time to recover from the cut because you put a lot of work into that shit and your body gets exhausted from the calorie deficit and and you know the, all the energy ex expending all that energy when you putting busting your ass in the gym and then cardio on top of that and then doing shit just having your fucking brain function right that sh all that shit takes energy so I say do that maintain for a couple months at least and then start to bring carbs back into your diet a lot more um, I don't want to say slow, but progressively. Don't just from one day when you're cutting to the next day you decide you're gonna bulk, you're gonna fuck it just ba 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 ba, because that shit's gonna make you spill over like that. And before you know it, what took you four, three, four, five months to lose, you're gonna have back in a month, month and a half tops. So you know it's one of those things where you have to make the decision. And as far as bulking clean or bulking dirty goes. There's pros and cons to both. Um, bulking clean, you have to really be on top of your diet. You have to make sure you're getting that, getting you know, get enough calories and some, but just enough to where you're not getting fat, but you're getting bigger, and that will keep you lean and looking hoe ready. But at the same time, it's gonna be a very slow process. So you might have to end up doing this shit at least a year, year and a half, right? Just to get, you know, put on some good solid mass. Cause some mass will get you some mass, boy. And then um on the other hand we have dirty bulking, which is where you just fucking go all out and say, you know what, fuck it. Burger King every motherfucking day. Why the burger? Goddamn McDonald's. Fuck Subway. Shit. Bitch. And then anyway I mean, it doesn't necessarily mean you're doing it all the fucking time, but it means you're every fucking day you're at the fucking China buffet, eating some kind of shit, you know. But and the the thing about that is you will gain a lot of weight fast, and, I'll, and not all of it will be muscle mass, but a good percentage of it will be. And it, I mean, you only have to do this about eight months, and you would have put on a lot more size than you would clean bulking, but. You know, which one do I do? Where do I go? Which way to roll? Honestly, in my opinion, I feel like it's a good it's a good thing to have a mixture of both. It's good to eat clean. Make sure you're getting your nutrients, your vitamins, all that shit. 
that you your body needs just to function but at the same time since you're destroying your body in the gym and you're trying to fucking grow it's okay to indulge and have that triple meat sometimes it's okay to just say you know what fuck it i'm gonna go out let's go fucking eat here or there and get a motherfucking get a burger with fucking double meat or you know get that fucking the full rack of ribs that you really wanted and that's okay and there's nothing wrong with that you have to be able to have that balance and not be scared to get a little fluffy right because i mean in the end you're the one that's gonna cut again and you're gonna look even better and bigger than you did last time right and that's what most of us are here for we want to get bigger and we want to look good because the fuck else are you working out for unless you're powerlifting, right? You're trying to just get strong. And there ain't nothing wrong with that because believe me, I love to lift. I love to throw up heavy weight. So, um, yeah, man, simplest terms, it's, it all boils down to a matter of preference. Whenever you feel like you're ready to go um, and start losing and start, I mean, start gaining weight. And, you know, honestly, I mean, Combine them. Eat good. Eat healthy. But at the same time, indulge. Enjoy yourself. Don't let that shit sit on your mind. You'll fucking kill yourself. Remember, this shit is a slow progress. This is, I mean, it's progress. The fuck am I talking? It's a slow process. And you'll get there eventually, but you have to give it time and trust in yourself. Don't worry about the fuck you're eating right now. Just fucking do it, and you'll, you'll make it, man. You'll fucking make it. The savage believes in you. Believes in you. You hear me? You hear me, motherfucker? Now go! Go make those gains! Anyway, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, hope they helped you out, even if just a little bit. And anyway, <laughs> so um, ne until next time, guys, um, I'll follow up with this video, make something kind of that goes hand in hand with it. Maybe I'll show you guys some kind of like I'll start. I'm gonna I'm gonna start bulking already. So I'm gonna probably start. I'm gonna start making bulking recipes, which basically means they're gonna be higher in carbs. They're gonna be a lot more meaty, real good shit. So um, anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. And remember, some mass will get you some mass, boy. Until next time, Jay Savage. Out.